Hey everybody, this is your girl Jasmine Woods, also known as It's a Mom and Daughter Thing. I am. What? Huh? Come here, girl. Be careful what you eat, girl. Be quiet. You alright? I'm sorry, y'all. Interrupted by being for being a mother. She done every stack in bitter tongue, so she's upset right now. But anyway, this is a mom and daughter thing. And here's a mom and here's the daughter. She does she's a little upset, but she'll be okay. But you guys. Uh, yes, I am back with the blo Come down. You okay? Look. So, um, I'm back again, but this time I can't go live because Facebook, I mean, YouTube is tripping, so I can't go live anymore, so. But anyway, you guys, I'm just, you know, you know how you get fed up with people trying to make you, trying to make you feel like, trying to make you feel like you're not good enough to be around them and not good enough for this and not good enough for that. So, I had... Uh, one of those days today, along with some other mess that I'm gonna get into. But uh, not only I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all the tea, but I'm gonna give y'all some what I think some lessons I should have learned from this experience today. And as like I said, as you guys can see, I'm back to the blind bob wig, and I'm about to get a new one as soon as they, as soon as I um get paid and go to the hair store or either I might not buy another one if I do buy another one I'm not gonna buy I'm not gonna wear it like right after I'm not gonna write it wear it right right then I'm gonna get some um some crochets because I've been missing my crochet hair I've been missing it even though I do like this color this wig color on my hair I, I do like this blend it makes me look like me don't make me look too young. Don't make me look too old. It just made me look like myself. So I, I'm really, I'm really digging this color and this cut. And I think I want to go a little bit longer with this color. But I'll see you guys. I will see. But anyway, back to today. I had today was one of them days, y'all. Not only am I kind of, you know, you know, I'm just, I don't know how to explain my mood today or whatever. Or have my mood been lately, but I had one of those days because it's it's and this is like the time of my, the time of the month for me. So, people, I'm on I'm already on ten, so I'm at work today, you guys. And my boss's family started to work there when we get I don't know they work there when I guess they work there when they when they want to, and she paid them when she want to. But so the nephew of my boss came to work today along with his mom his sisters two of his sisters and his friend guy and mind you I call these people my niece, my cousins and my auntie and all that crap but today they seriously tried me y'all okay not ever since I had my praise my night of worship you know the um review Ooh. renew the fire the fire me lord night of worship ever since i had that it's like the devil been on my case but i'm still here i'm still alive i'm still making it i'm still you know trucking for god i'm still trusting and i'm still believing in him i'm still love him so whatever and but anyway they seriously tried me today because i'm thinking these folks my family or whatever, Ugh. but and they appear just you know they just I don't want to get I'm trying not to get too much in details because I don't want to just put my you know just be one of those people that tells y'all everything and anything and all of that. But they seriously tested me, you guys, and I'm like, this just made me rethink rethink my life. Like, why do I even need y'all in my life? And do I need to cut y'all out completely? Because one thing, two, I did learn, and I did learn a couple of things today. 
I learned for one, I need to learn, I need to, um, I need to, uh, hang with people that's going in the same direction that I'm going, which means if I'm trying to live safe and and holy and single, I need to hang around people like that, no matter their age or whatever, well, no matter their age. I need to hang around people that are going in the same direction as me. And if they're not going in the same direction as me, I need to cut them off. I don't care they family, friends, whatever. I need to cut them off. Because the direction I'm trying to go in God, if it don't if, if it don't match with you and you around me and you ain't doing nothing but sucking the life out of me and talking about me and making me feel bad about myself and you know, you supposed to be one of the people one of the people that I come to when other people hurt me. But yeah, you hurting me now? Mm mm. I don't, I don't, you know, I'm ready to cut you for my life. Because for one, you underage, some of y'all is underage for me to, too underage for me to hang around. Some of y'all 18, 19, 17, 16, 17 years old. I don't need hang around y'all, no way. I'm about to be 29 years old this year. And I don't need to hang around no little teenagers. No little grown teenagers in the way. Number two, if you are 21 and above and you not acting like you have a come, you have common sense. Or you act like you don't, you know you ain't learning nothing in life to settle down and get better. Or if you're not 25 years and above, I don't need to be around you anyway. Act like you ain't got, you act like you had some pure sense. I don't need to be around you. So that's like the two revelations that I had learned from this experiences this afternoon. But like I said, they tried me, and it's like I need to rethink people in my life. Like, I know they gonna they gonna be there at my place of the work because my that's no that's my bottom that's my boss's business and that's her family so I know they're gonna be around me but just because they're around me don't mean I have to entertain them just because they're around me don't mean I got I gotta be buddy buddy with them because I ain't got no because I feel like I don't have no enough friends in my life I don't have to do that I can either keep on trying to run from being by myself or isolated for God's reason. Or I can embrace the isolation period God got me in. Embrace the um, me uh, my, me learning more. Embrace my motherhood. Embrace um, you know trying to grow and get better. I can embrace that, but you know you guys, I'm not. And then not only is that the type of people that, that try to try me today, them old ones, they are, they was quick to remind me that, to try to, you know, tell me, like, they ain't said word for word what I'm about to say, but I got the gist. I read in between the lines of what they're really trying to say, that I'm not on their level. Why do I need to be on, a le on the same level as an 18-year-old? Why do I need to be on the same level as a 21-year-old? Why do I need to be on a level... On the same level, level as a 16 and 24 year old. When I'm 29 year olds and I'm trying to get better. I'm trying to have. I'm trying to be a homeowner. I'm trying to be a, a car owner. I'm trying to be a business owner. I'm trying to be a woman of God. I'm trying to be a minister leader. I ain't got time for trying to be on some 18 year old, 19 year old, 21 year old, 24 year old levels. I'm on some grown woman stuff. And I ain't studying nobody child. They're trying to be grown. I'm on, uh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm trying to be a better parent to my daughter. I'm trying to be a big, uh, be a, uh, I'm trying to be a big uh, role model for my brother. I don't have time for you people. And he especially ain't nothing but a fool anyway. The Bible speaks that if you hang around a fool, you are a fool. You beware of the company that you keep. Because you hang around a fool, you're going to end up becoming a fool. If you hang around a whore, <laughs> you get the gist. You get the gist. So whoever you hang around is more likely who you're going to turn into. So I don't want to hang around no any kind of body anyway. I don't need to be around it. So that's just what I learned from this experience today. Because like I said, people, if I really want to tell y'all my business, they tried me today, y'all. But it was eye-opening. And from this day forward, I need, my, I need to start making some smart moves. Either cut them off and only speak to them, speak and go on by my business. Like I've been doing lately anyway, and they be acting like it. And I guess that's why they probably tried me today, because that's all I've been doing. Instead of keep keying and all that like I normally do with them, I just, and of course, because 
one of my I got into it one of my co-workers and one of the, the co-worker that I got into it with today was one is, is they little is they so-called cousin so I guess they call they still trying to jump me but they ain't actually touch me but you know how you you think you you they think you think they playing with you but you find out they were actually trying to test you to see what you made of baby if and I'm thinking they, you know, they was, you know, two, it was two big old tall dudes. Like I said, the two boys, best friend, hmm, trying to try me. One was on one other side and the other one and was on the other side. And they were kind of, they was fight, play fighting me. And they came out of me out of nowhere. And so I didn't know what the heck was going on. I just thought, you know, I don't know. My mind wasn't even on fighting. I was just. I guess they kind of still trying to catch me off guard type of stuff. Catch them off guard and beat them down type of stuff. And people. I'm thinking they were just playing with me and whatever. Hee hee ha ha. Make her laugh and make her feel good. I'm finding out that these fools was testing me. To see if I can really handle myself. And what they got. And, who, and see if they going to need extra help to help fight me. <laughs> oh baby. Oh baby. If they only knew. That if they if if you only knew how crazy I am, you gonna need about five or six people to hold me back. Why? Why? If I actually was the wild out on the on the little youngest, so you too. Y'all better tell them, cause y'all seen me venting before, and this and y'all have half of y'all call me crazy, but y'all don't really want to know who I really am. I'm trying to mail out. I'm trying to get into trying to get Christ like, but people try you, and they try you a lot. And if, like I said, if they knew what have what really goes on in my mind, they wouldn't fool with me. If you want to see the kind the type of the type of thoughts that I'm trying to erase in my mind right now, people, stop trying to do the you worldly folks. Stop trying the saints of God. I'm gonna say it like that. And if you don't like that, I said it that way. Oh well, kiss a toenail. I'm just saying how I feel. I'm venting right now. Because, Lord behold, if I keep this in my head and I go to work with the folks tomorrow, ain't no telling what I might do. I might forget all this little training. I'm going a, I'm to a quote, I'm a quote um, Angel, Angela from uh, Why Did I Get Married. I'm going to forget all your training pack, and I'm going to wild out on the folks tomorrow. So, yes, I'm on YouTube venting right now. Because I don't like being tested. I don't like being tried. But I'm gonna let it slide because they ain't up because they ain't up but some little children trying to act grown. But I got to start reacting better. And oh, this is another thing. Whether they try me or not, people try me or not, no matter the age, I got to learn how to not let it bother me because God is trying to release some stuff in my life. But if I keep letting, if I keep letting people bother me, if I keep letting the devil make a fool out of me and, and talking God out my blessings. I'm going to end up in the same old position I'm in now. And I'm, when I'm trying, when God said, girl, if you don't close your mouth, I can bless you real good. But you keep letting the, even if, you keep letting the devil schemes and tricks get to you. Ugh, I'm tired of that. So, Lord, I'm going to tell you again. I'm going to ask you again. When fools, when these foolish folks or these foolish spirits go to bothering me, teach me better. Right then, not afterwards, because... I won't learn right then, but yeah, I so I met today. I had no business getting mad at those little children for being a, what for doing for doing what a child do. Try grown folks. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, and if you like this vlog, well, this Vincent vlog, thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. Boom.